treat people the way that you want to be treated. Except for in Call of Duty, you can talk shit, that's cool. I needed to be the black ash catcher. It was my destiny to be the, the negro catcher. But let's talk about why, why all white people who like spoiled milk when they take their clothes off. Modern warning. Step one, get money. Step two, repeat step one. What up YouTube, and up you in here, and I gotta say, 2014 was the year of overhyping and damage control in games, but 2015 seems to be the year of hating on everything. I guess consumers have been burned over one too many times and they're a bit more cautious. That's a good thing, but I think a lot of people are crossing that line from being the cautious consumer to just flat out hating. After finishing the Order 1886, I sat there and I wondered, why are so many quote unquote credible media outlets giving this a 5 out of 10? I mean, Rambo the video game got 6 out of 10 on many sites, so is Rambo a better game? Nah. The hate train for this game is just ridiculous, and it's a shame because this game is actually pretty decent. Where's the Indian woman? Where is she? Where is she? Where? Tell me! Tell me! White Chapel Brother Story who reading the book? The Order 1886 stars Sir Galahad in the Knights of the Round Table. For hundreds of years, a war's been going on between the humans and the half-breeds, which are these werewolves. The humans were losing the war when all of a sudden they stumble upon the black water. Now the black water, it's a liquid that instantly heals wounds and it retains youth upon drinking it. This extends the knights' lives into the 1800s where the Industrial Revolution is now happening and new gadgets and weapons are being made. The war is finally turning in the humans' favor, but for the sake of not spoiling the story, let's just say that not as all of what it seems which later has Galahad questioning his loyalty to the Order. The visuals, without a question, top notch. The voice acting is phenomenal, and contrary to a lot of popular opinions, I actually enjoyed the story, even if it was short. It was short and sweet. Gameplay. Sweat, 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 sweat. The gameplay consists of third person stop and pop shooting, QTEs, and light jogging from point A to B. Often you get 5 to 10 minutes of cutscenes which transition seamlessly into the gameplay like Max Payne 3. Patience, old friend. All in due time. Ah, I love the way the game transitions. Stealth mode. The QTEs are whatever, I don't hate them, but I don't love them either. But the gameplay, it's smooth, and I never once got stuck on a wall when bouncing from cover to cover. The game honestly feels like PlayStation's Gears of War. There's a wide variety of weapons from your standard rifles and pistols to more exotic guns like the three barrel shotgun, which is just mwah to use by the way. Oh my god, I blew that nigga back. <laughs> There's a lightning gun and a cloud explosion gun or whatever the hell you call it as well as a bunch of other guns. Now, nothing in this game reinvents the wheel, but it felt very polished. I think fighting the half-breeds would be the highlight of the gunfights. They were unpredictable with their swift movements which kept you on your toes. There's also one point in the game where you had to infiltrate a mansion, and I really enjoyed that stealth aspect of the game, and it's a shame that there wasn't more, especially since this game loves to move at a slower pace. The game is also very well optimized. It just works. No frame drops or crazy glitches were encountered on my playthrough, which is hard to find in today's gaming climate. What I hated. No sweat, no sweat, no sweat. What the hell is the point of picking up items just to look at them? This is the most narcissistic game that I play because clearly it's in love with its own graphics. Hmm. They put Sackboy in the game. That's cool. So, the fuck am I supposed to do? Just put a look at it or something? <laughs> sack boy, sack boy be like, sack boy stitching on fleek, the fuck? <laughs> It'll be certain points where you'll just pick up various items and move them and sway them side to side and I guess I'm supposed to go ooh and ah but I was just like no. The game, it only lasted me 7 hours so it's a shame that there's no multiplayer. I feel like that could have really pushed the game over the top. The AI isn't the brightest, they don't move cover to cover so some firefights can be very easy and also a lot of the enemies they look the same. All the humans wear a great outfit and that's about it. And I also didn't like the fact that the devs created this creepy world for you to explore but unless Galahad has his gun out you were never actually actually in danger. This is one of the game's dead giveaways. Guns out, we're about to fight. Gun on the back, you won't be attacked. I just feel like certain portions of this game are like a museum. You're surrounded by all this pretty stuff, but you're not allowed to touch. Final verdict. Swag, 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 swag. So what we have here is a game with satisfying gunplay, but it's very heavy on the story. The gameplay does nothing to reinvent the wheel, but the story carried the game for me anyway. I actually look forward to seeing what they do with this franchise in the future. Is it the second coming of Jesus Christ? No, but it's worth playing. It damn for sure isn't the 5 out of and 2 out of 10 that I've seen from these 
credible gaming journalist. I just don't understand how The Walking Dead, which is a cinematic game with nothing but QTEs and cutscenes, wins Game of the Year in 2012, but then The Order is condemned for doing the same thing. Now, if reviewers thought the story sucked, then articulate that. But most of the hate I see for this game is because it's cutscene and QTE heavy. Didn't Heavy Rain get positive reviews and that was nothing but cutscenes and QTEs? Are y'all seeing the hypocrisy that I'm talking about here? It's like, what the fuck do you people want? This game was always advertised as being cinematic, even during E3. So why is everyone shocked? If anything, The Order 1886 really shows you how broken these out of 10 and out of 5 scoring systems are, and it's exactly why I don't use them. Final recommendation? I think this game is worth playing, but only when there's a price drop. I agree there's not enough content here, especially since there's no multiplayer. If I was the average consumer, I wouldn't pay more than 30 bucks, and that's just how I feel about The Order 1886. Let me know what you guys thought about this review in my comments below, and when you're done, make sure to check out ModernWarNigger.com. We post the latest gaming news, previews, reviews, anime, comics, and music. It's a one-stop shop for all things geek. I right, thank you guys for watching, but my city needs me.